Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today uh, I was torn between a couple of builds, and uh, since the cathedral is kind of broken up into three parts, um, I think what I'll do is I will run one build until the fir for the first third until we get to the Berserker's Missile, and then we'll run the second third, and then we'll run the last third uh, with three different builds here, and... Since these are kind of power builds and stuff, uh, I figured this would be fun to show a couple of them that can uh, pretty much help you uh, destroy the lost here in the cathedral. Now there's two different uh, Wolf King blades that you can do here. You can do the lightning one or the um, Icor one. I prefer the uh, Devour version here just because um, I'm not really that interested in the extra damage and the weakness here, but I'm mainly interested in getting Icor. Now, Shockweb will stagger most enemies here in the uh, in the cathedral, and Flames of Rage will also. However, these do nothing versus the very, 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 very big uh, lost that are in here, and so you these are kind of uh, no pun intended lost on those ones. And so the real uh, stagger for them comes out of the Argent Wolf Kingblade on the heavy attack here. And so you can get a ton of Icor back between these two um, gifts here running simultaneously with Mia in the background. And then at the same time having a Devour Chrome on here. So, uh, great. Let's get uh, moving along. So the, the main story of this is get uh, people staggered and then hit them with a Triple Annihilator because it will be very, very fast how it's coming out. And we will be able to basically... Uh, have tons and tons of Icor along the way here. So you can see there we got six Icor already. Oops. And uh, if you need a stagger, you can just uh, go. Uh, whoops, I missed. You can just go right into a heavy attack, into a, uh, a uh, triple annihilator very, very quickly, very, very easily. So um, one other thing uh, that we kind of should go through is that uh, I haven't really been i've got a backlog of the uh requests that you guys have been putting out and uh the reason being is because i've been working on the spreadsheet in the background um before we actually get it uh to a release point for everyone i want to have it absolutely you know everything that it needs to be and have all the information that it needs to have in order to uh get it out to you guys so i've been working uh pretty hard on that to get it uh, to a uh, usable point for everyone. Okay, now let's back up here. Let's put down Shockweb, Flames of Rage. Now you'll see when they walk into that, uh, they will stagger if they will walk into it. There we go, got one. Okay. And uh, they keep switching targets on me here, so I don't know which one uh, is attacking me here at any one time, so. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and get some I-Core here, uh, get uh, this going. Okay, Mia, just go back and heal, please. Uh, don't need you going uh, away here anytime soon. Okay, and uh, let's put a Shockweb here. So there you saw the stagger. Which was great. Oh, okay, switching targets uh, mid-air. Okay, somehow uh, it hit me there. Definitely, uh, I can't uh, launch it here, which is kind of weird. Okay, three, three launches. Uh, very, very strange there, indeed. Uh, so yeah, once I get the... Uh, once I get the spreadsheet to a point where I feel confident that everything in there is uh, usable and uh, valuable for you guys, um, I will absolutely be sending it out. Come on, Mia. Oh, come on. A lucky strike to the head. Uh, and that's when uh, the perfect timing of animations uh, comes into play against you. And uh, then once the, once the spreadsheet is up and ready to go, then I'll try and figure out a way to have it linked in some way that you guys can get to it. It will be in um, the Excel spreadsheet in the Excel spreadsheet format. Uh, it will not be in any other 
format just because of the uh, formulas and everything I have set up in there. They are all um, based on Excel functions and everything, and I don't feel like converting to any other form and and uh, trying to do something different for it. So it'll be an Excel spreadsheet, and I think most everybody has access to some kind of Excel at some point um, or other. And if you don't, I mean, I I'm sorry. Uh, it'll just have to be that way for now. So let's try this uh, en engagement here again. Now, uh, we, like I said, we can go for the lightning version if we need to. Uh, we don't necessarily need to, but the important thing is, is that we get, uh, whoops, a uh, monkey. Okay, I can't hit the monkey for whatever reason, so we'll just go for this one for now. And see these, uh, the big lost have royal heart, so that is very, very, very bad. Get out of here, monkey. Okay, now let's go for this one. If we can. Okay, we're just gonna get totally annihilated. Okay, good. And let's get another launch. Even though we're hitting the other one, that's completely fine. There we go. Okay. Now you'll see here shockweb. Uh, they will stagger when they run into it, and apparently I can't hit anything. Okay. Okay, it can't just it just can't hit anything here. All right, let's back up here. Okay. Okay, we're dead. Mia's on the floor, so we're dead. We're totally dead. Ah, good grief. I hate the uh, the changing uh, direction of attack uh, during the attack. That is uh, that is one of my pet peeves here. Is that they they charge up their attack, they get ready to do it, and in halfway through the animation, they're they're able and allowed to change directions, and they're even allowed to change enemies. So uh, it's really 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 frustrating. There's no way to predict it. And there's no way to really counter it unless you get a perfect uh, parry during that uh, interaction. But otherwise, you're stuck like this, where you just get slapped over and over and over. But uh, you can see that if we are one-on-one -on -one, um, versus a a pretty much any enemy that we're going to come across, uh, we will absolutely decimate them with uh, staggers and with triple annihilator on deck here. Okay, let's go ahead and poke him down. Okay, good job, Mia. Alright, and so the, the key here is to, uh, you know, be the king or queen queen of staggers as you get into each of these engagements. But when you have three enemies at once uh, staggering their attacks over and over and over to the point that um, you can't actually um, do anything about it, uh, it becomes very, very problematic. Okay. Ouch. 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 Good grief. Yeah, we're just getting slammed here. Okay. Let's go for some staggers here. Okay, let's get some I-Core here. Uh, let's see. Mia should be maybe okay. Never mind. Okay. They should be coming down here uh, anytime. Oh, come on. And of course, we don't have any I Core to get Mia back, and we're staggered. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, you you can either stagger the enemy or you or you can get staggered, and uh, either one is absolutely awful. And the problem, obviously, that we have here with this setup that we have going is the fact that uh, we we need to be less than three three on one, and uh, typically that doesn't happen during this invasion. And so that is uh, okay. And there we just aren't allowed to get parries. 
Okay. Good job, Mia. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, this invasion, obviously, uh, is one of the hardest in the game. This one and the second one in the cathedral here. These invasions are placed in very, 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 very precarious ways uh, to literally make you rage over and over and over. But uh, as you kind of uh, figure out how to mitigate some of the uh, attacks and everything, uh, these invasions become easier. But then at the same time, uh, they are just absolutely brutal uh, no matter what you do. Now, our, our big issue here is stamina, obviously, um, because we just don't have enough um, stamina recovery here along the way. And since we're uh, not running a stamina heavy blood code here, um, we will uh, make do with what we have. Okay, good news. He is dead, but that's fine. They'll come over here. Okay. Okay. I'm, wow. We're we're just we're just getting hammered, just absolutely hammered. Okay. Um. Well, so it's supposed to be you know a power build of staggers, but uh, the cathedral just has a way of pounding you down to a point. That you need to really, 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 really uh, reconsider. And the one reconsider here is to get rid of this guy and go for something like Plasma Roar, um, which would be much better, or Jupiter Blade. Uh, either one would be really, really nice. And the reason being is because uh, when you have only, only, only close range and uh, no quick casts of any kind, uh, it makes for a very, very, very difficult method of how to engage the enemy. But see, if you can engage one-on-one, -on -one, you can stagger that enemy into oblivion with this weapon, uh, and also with Shockweb and Flames of Rage. So you can you can do very, 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 very well for yourself uh, with this kind of setup when you are one-on-ones, and when even when you're doing versus bosses and such, uh, you can do very, very well. Uh, as it stands with this set, with these groups, uh, with this craziness here in this invasion. I mean, we have to do the invasions. It's, uh, you know, part of the run. And, uh, you know, that's just how we have to do it. But uh, you can see that getting rid of an enemy quickly is uh, essential. Okay. Good. We'll go for this thing. Okay, Mia, hang, hang in there. Oops. Ouch. Who hit me? Somebody hit me there. Okay. As you can see, uh, killing the enemy uh, very, very quickly and simply with Jupiter's Blade here is uh, very, very exceptional. Whoa. Okay. Ouch. Hey, I can't see what's going on. Oops. Okay. Not exactly sure what's going on. Uh, can't really see what's going on in the corridor there. Oh, I'm locked onto the wrong enemy. Yeah, you're fine. I know you're not fine. Okay. Staggers galore. Whoops. Okay, good. This is much better, as you can see. Thank you. Hang in there, Mia. Just, just get out of here and go heal. You'll be fine. Okay. Let's go for a launch. Good. got smart there. What? Okay. Yeah, she just 
really decides to do whatever she wants, uh, this big one. Okay, good, we got a backstab. Okay, so not a lot of use of uh, shock web here or uh, flames of rage on uh, this invasion, but switching to um, Jupiter's blade there is uh, definitely um, <laughs> exceptional. And that is why uh, having, you know, super access to, exactly, uh, being able to switch on the go as you go along here in the cathedral is oh so wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and give uh, Bloodsucking Blades here. And we do have our increase in defenses here, and that is pretty good at this point, uh, overall, all things considered. Okay, we'll get rid of him, get some health. And then uh, now we are in the one-on-one -on -one oh, sweet spot uh, for these kinds of enemies uh, because we can uh, do, you know, setups for them like this and get staggers on them. Ouch. And then, uh, you know, get uh, wrecked in the face by, <laughs> by them for sure. But it is very, very cool that you can uh, go for some of these... Uh, unique, interesting shock web stagger setups versus uh, some of these more basic enemies, and then um, you know use that to your advantage to get off, um, you know, like a big, a big damage type of certain sorts, and it can really, really help in really, really uh, tense scenarios where you definitely need, uh, you know, like a stagger like that. Where you can buy yourself some time in between the uh, different attacks and stuff. And like that where you can have some uh, where you can have some one-on-one -on -one close contact kind of uh, damage out of Flames of Rage. Really really does good work there. Okay and you can see here that uh, having access to that uh, stagger is very 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 nice overall just because of the fact that you're um you know you're not actually damaging the enemy really but you're you know kind of taunting them into uh this uh false sense of security here where you can uh get them staggered uh over and over whoops and uh, we almost had it there and speeding it up um much 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 more with all the gift accelerators makes it that much better uh, and since Shockweb lasts for 10 seconds on the ground before the enemy has to walk over it, otherwise it will explode by itself, um, that is a pretty good amount of time overall to make sure that you are able to, um, you know, lull enemies into that, uh, into that uh, damage area, and then they can get staggered uh, pretty easily. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of this guy for 5% of our health. Now that is where lifesteal uh, comes into play, is that you'll need about 10 enemies or so usually uh, to get back to full health, typically because at 5% an enemy, that's 50% of your health, and so if you kill 10 enemies, and so you're always looking for those hanger guys or something like that, and uh, that is where this build excels uh, much, much more than right in the invasions, is in the one-on-ones. And when you are one-on-one -on -one and you can control the field where the enemy walks and then um, get them into a stagger and then again hit them with some kind of uh, big attack, uh, whether that be like Jupiter's Blade or Triple Annihilator or something else that you might have, um, it really, really works to your advantage to play uh, the, the stagger game. Okay, apparently I can't get a backstab, but that is okay, I guess. Now, the uh, gift accelerators are really, really, really where this uh, entire setup sort of shines here. And uh, they really, really help make sure that the um, like shock web and those kinds of things actually uh, connect there we go so you can see there that that really uh, helped um, gain some uh, distance between her charge and uh, her running up on us there okay and uh, I mean shock web is kind of whatever but when you can set it up for a stagger like that it, it does very very well but she's just not um, interested in us 
whatever reason. Which I'm kind of cool with that. Okay. Alright. So you can see there how you can kind of mix in a shock web in between each of the staggers. Uh, just to make sure that you, uh, you know, have good ability to mix in more uh, more damage from your weapon uh, should you need it. Okay. Unfortunate there that I can't get the backstab. So uh, this one here is just kind of like a battery that you can load up on i with and uh, backstab after backstab after backstab is really really nice. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the, the power in this build is not necessarily from the Argent Wolf Kingblade, even though that is a major part of, you know, where where your damage and where your uh, control comes from. But uh, the rest of the build actually helps uh, to control the, the surroundings of, you know, what enemy you're going for and how you're going for it. And the reason you need this big weapon is for these kinds of lost. Uh, where you can't stagger them with um, you can't stagger them with the uh, shock web, and so you have to stagger them through weapon attacks. Um, however, these lost here, uh, you can do these kinds of things, and uh, you can be free to run up on them and uh, get sho get shock web right right up in on them there, and you can see that uh, it is very very nice uh, to be able to stagger them like mid-string or you know stop their charge at you or these different things and it'll really really open them up for um Thanks. a different attack or some kind of follow-up or another gift in that regard to make sure that you have you know adequate damage at every point in time that you'll need it but again it is uh very 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 unique that it is a one-on-one -on -one kind of a build set and this doesn't, you know, carry over into uh, group settings very well, as you saw in the invasion. But typically, the engagements are one-on-one -on -one here in the cathedral. And, you know, if you can have a very, very controlled one-on-one -on -one kind of move set, then it works really, really well. And I will show you here on this fella that um, it it also works uh, very, very well. Well, not very well, but it works well enough that, uh, you know, you can actually, um, you know, make use of it somehow. See there, he staggered. Okay, we'll go for uh, another attack here, or backstab. We'll go into some of these. Okay, there, he, he did not stagger. There, he staggered. There, he staggered. There, he staggered. Oh, and, and we, okay, we got him anyways with the blade, um, but you can see that uh, it was like three or four or five staggers in a row there, uh, back to back to back to back, and that has to do with just the fact that Flames of Rage and Shock Web and how they operate together, so very, very nice. Okay, and see, I don't even have to back up or anything there. I can just uh, completely um, shred her um, back to back. Uh, with these combos and so you're kind of uh, like mixing it in like a fighting combo kind of it, oh, whoops I forgot my mark of honor here like if if you've ever played um, you know a fighting game like Mortal Kombat or in or something like that where you have different combos that you uh, mix in to you know get different grapples or grabs or you know 50 50s or mix-ups or whatever um, this is kind of in that same uh, ability where you uh, mix you mix the different gifts together and because the cooldowns are very 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 short uh, five seconds is pretty good five seconds is pretty good and this is two seconds so uh, you can mix these up here between the, the three of them very very fast very very easy and uh, you can do some pretty good uh, combos in between albeit uh, you know they're not really that crazy um, but uh, the fact that you can do it and you can use it as a mix-up where you can get stagger after stagger after stagger after stagger, uh, it, it does very, 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 very well. Okay, and here uh, we'll just knock him off the edge for some help. And you can see that uh, we, we got all our health back, um, so that's fine. 
Oh, whoops. And now we didn't. Okay, and this guy, I should have gone for a shock web at first, obviously, to stagger him and then go into another move. So uh, that's how you can kind of, um, you know, see at certain points that you need to do something different. Okay. Oh, and I didn't get the kill, but we did get the stagger, and then Mia finished him off with her gifts. So you can see how it kind of works together um, to make sure that you have, um, you know, good amounts of stagger here and there along the way. So let's go for this so we can get this fella. Okay, we'll get that extra 5% health there for free. Very, very nice. And uh, even though we don't have a lot of stamina and we really don't have a lot of I-Core, overall to speak of and it, it uh, requires us to have backstabs after backstabs but uh, the way. cool thing is that you have plenty 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 of i -Corp, like all the time and so you're completely able to um, you know take care of whoever and whatever you want at whatever time you need to which is really nice because uh, typically what happens is you get into these fights with some of these lower i -Corp drain uh, weapons or blood veils and then you you don't really have enough i -Corp to completely um, fuel the the build at all and so you just end up getting to a point where you're just constantly out of i -Corp and you know you can't really do anything about it and that becomes very 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 unfortunate okay get rid of that guy okay i thought maybe we would be able to um, bomb him off the edge and it didn't look like he was going to stick around so that's that's very very good all right so as we get into kind of the last you heard the uh shock web there explode um and again the power of uh the power of what this build is is based on um you know getting the enemy to stagger uh for example There we go. Okay, so you can see that uh, even these enemies that have very, very, very high health health pools, uh, you can absolutely do uh, really, really good work on them. And even like this, where you can set yourself up for a backstab, uh, is very, very nice. Okay. And you know, if you're if you're looking for you know a good way to use um, Shockweb and Flames of Rage, Flames of Rage obviously is less. Um, less of a staggering mechanic than Shockweb is, but I mean that is literally what uh, what Shockweb is telling you. Uh, it manipulates Icor to create a low power trap at your feet that staggers any assailants. So it doesn't stagger any assailant. It staggers um, you know all the like uh, normal to low balance kind of enemies, and uh, typically that's like anything that's. Uh, like that enemy over there, their size or smaller, and you can stagger them in one shock web. Anything bigger, like the Fat Lost, um, those ones are absolutely um, not going to stagger off of shock web and Flames of Rage. They do stagger, though, however, off of the heavy attacks, which is why we bring this sword along to make sure that we have those staggers as well baked into the build here so we have stagger from here stagger from here and stagger from here so that way we can you know get into the um into the build much much easier much much better and then we can actually get kills on the enemy which is what our build is also built for to have life steal so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh build set here definitely uh needed the change here on jupiter's blade um to make that happen so anyways thank you guys for watching hopefully this was helpful to you in seeing how the one-on-ones kind of go with the enemy where you can stagger uh stagger lock them almost uh into oblivion with shockweb and the argent wolf king blade so anyways just a different way to use it and uh we'll see you guys in another in another one tomorrow for the second third of the cathedral and then we'll do another build for the last third so we'll see you then